Breaking news, a federal judge denied a request for a temporary order to make masks mandatory in a local school district. Amy Wattis is live at the federal courthouse with the news and reaction. Amy. Ken, this ruling means that masks will remain optional at Cannon McMillan School District. The judge made this decision because he feels it should not be up to the courts to decide whether or not masking should happen in schools. Meantime, the attorney representing the parents in this case argued that the district should have mandatory masking because it's the best way to keep kids in the classroom. He called Superintendent Michael Daniels to the stand trying to drive home to him that the CDC recommendation for mask wearing regardless of vaccination status should be enough to mandate mask wearing in the district, but that wasn't enough to win his case. I think that uh, the state legislator, late legislators, uh, Corman and Cutler and their friends uh, are creating a policy that's going to make it more dangerous and it's going to result in more sick kids. Would love to be wrong, but, you know, uh, we tried our best in there today and it looks like it's going to go that way for Ken and McMillan. This is a tough situation that we're dealing with and we have parents who have legitimate um, uh, questions and concerns on both sides of, of, this, of the aisle. Um, it, it's our job as attorneys to make sure that our clients are applying the, the law, um, following the law, and, and the Canaman Millen School District um, did so in this case. The district solicitor asked the judge to dismiss the case due to lack of evidence and said the district has not violated anything and will continue to monitor the ever-changing situation. When it comes to the spread of COVID-19, the attorney representing the parents in this case, he says he will continue to keep fighting this issue. Now, coming up tonight at six, he tells me who he feels really should be in charge of making these masking decisions in our schools. Again, you'll hear that coming up tonight at six. Reporting live from the federal courthouse downtown, Amy Wattis, KDK News.